Is my name is Jaden Connor. <laughs> yeah. I'll we'll have to do some stuff. Um. So I'm gonna go to Central Yarnum. Tommy, you are having a bit of sh struggle with this area, aren't you? Yes. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to make this video to help my friend Tommy and others who need help clearing this place out. Now I may die. That does not mean I'm bad. It just means that I'm awful. Okay. It's Zach. Alright, so. Um, now, I'm a new game plus, which means I've got pretty much all the end game weapons and stuff, but it doesn't affect that much because all these guys are tailored to my power, so they should be pretty much the same uh, or equivalent as your guys' um, minions. So I'm gonna take the first guy out. It's pretty easy. Um, Take this guy out. He's lying down, so we're just gonna him a couple times. So this guy. There we go. Now there's a group down here, as you can see. Um, so what I suggest doing is switching to your pebbles. You got them here. I got 20. Oop! This guy to come out. Kill him. Pretty simple. And then I can see they've all got their back to you. So if you're really having trouble, what you can do is throw your pebble at one, and then he'll come out by himself. And that way you can just take them all out. And yeah, there's a guy around here with an axe. Um, really, what you want to do with this guy? is just get around him like this Oop. kinda wanna wait until he does a attack like that and then Oop. there you go now I might do a bit, bit more damage than you guys but that's basically the gist of it and if you haven't, open up this gate. Um, okay, so we're going to carry on. We're going to take out our guy on the right. He's just sleeping here. There we go. He's dead. Simple. I've got some bullets from him. Now, if, if they've got a gun and they're shooting at you, they always drop bullets. That's a good, good thing to remember. So if you ever low on bullets or you need bullets, always kill the guys with the guns. This guy dropped us a blood vial. Uh, also, um, another important aspect of this game is whenever you get hit, there's a short window in which you can actually gain health back without using a blood vial. So, if, for instance, if I got hit right here, there's a couple of them coming. If I got hit, as you can see, there's a bit of a red bar right there. And if I hit him, I actually regain a little bit of my health back. So it encourages you to be a bit aggressive. But... Alright, so if something like this happens, try not to get cornered. You just kind of want to get out and then make sure they come in single file. Like that shot to your longer range weapon do much more damage and there you go so with a group of enemies you really don't want to take them all on especially early on in the game you're basically just a, a noob you're learning so don't take them all on uh, at the same time so like I said blow out a couple and uh, take them out like that Um, now this, this spot, what you really want to do, you want to go up these stairs and there's a guy with a gun and he's such a pain in the ass. you really want to kill him first because he keeps, sh he spams, he spams his little gun, his fucking gun, it's so annoying. And kill, kill that guy as well. Uh, and now, again, 
kill that dog. Uh, and then there should only be two left. You heal up. Kill that guy. And that's pretty much it. Oh, there's a couple more. This guy's coming. Dodge out of the way. Wait for him to attack. Maybe not. There we go. Nicked him. And it really is that simple. So, once you're done with this area, there's a couple more here. Um, if they start charging, maybe just wait for them to finish off their attacks. You don't want to go while they're in mid combo. And also, always make sure you're locked on. Ah, so there's a bunch of guys over here. Back up, heal up. There we go, one's dead. Alright. And that should be the last one. Alright, so that's pretty much it. Um Again, just practice. I mean, take that same route that I did. Remember to kill the guys that shoot first and just take them all on one at a time. Use the pebble technique to draw them out if they're in large groups so you don't have to take out the entire group all at once. Um, once you're done with that area, you want to come across over here. And from here, just keep doing the same thing. There's a big guy over here, and I'll just show you quickly how to take care of them. Uh, they're pretty easy. So, what you want to do is do a visceral attack. So, this is an important mechanic with the the gun and what you want to do is basically mid animation so as he's attacking you'll see right here if I do it properly you want to shoot him and then attack and you sh should land this amazing visceral attack which is basically a one hit kill um, on pretty much any unit um, other than a boss maybe some bosses you can do it on but I'm not too sure but um yeah, and that's also something important you really want to practice. Now, you really want to use those guys on anyone that's got lots of health and anyone that does a really um, long charge attack like this. If you're facing a guy that's about to do something like that, do your visual attacks. Makes it easier. This right here is a, a secret path. And this will lead you to the next uh, cleric beast, the next cleric beast. So, first boss, which is the cleric beast, and I got a video on that. So, yeah. Um. All right, so that's pretty much it. Just keep on exploring and do the same thing. There you go.